You know what day of the week it is. Sports Saturday it is. Hey. You a real one if you know that intro. You know what I'm saying? I said that intro, I used to say that intro like what? I think last summer when I first started this channel. I made that up. Um, but y'all let me know. I used to do like weekly things. So basically I have like Monday. I did like meme Monday. So I post meme videos. Um, sports Saturday. Then I had like wildlife Wednesday. Scary Sunday. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. Y'all let me know. I could do some stuff like that again. Uh, I, I know like the only thing about it was I didn't know if I wanted to do like three like three videos. You know what I'm saying? Three scary videos. Three sports videos. Three. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know if I want to do that. So, uh, I think I might, what I might do is I might post, like, regular stuff, but I might have one thing, like, so I said I make three videos. I might make two videos that just random, you know what I'm saying, whatever I want to react to. And then the, the third one might be, like, a, you know what I'm saying, for the actual stuff. Like, I might just post one Scary Sunday because it's Scary Sunday, one uh, Sports Saturday, you feel me? I might do that. Y'all let me know. Um, yeah, Y'all let me know in the comments if I should bring it back. But, hey! That's some NHL when the goalies have had enough. Some raging goalies. <laughs> Let's see what it is. Time about. We all love when the goalies get mad. Through the five hole, it's 4 0 Vancouver. Chase Hourlock. Puts the Canucks up four. And, that's and it. Mike Smith's getting ready. Will softly lift it ahead. Here's Stafford getting on the pop. Drew Stafford back. Oh. That was a nice, that was a nice stop. I turn this shit down. <clears throat> so the only thing about it, they break they six, so they got to get a whole nother stick now. Because they want to have an attitude on the fucking... Nigga said, I don't even need a stick. Look at this guy. Right. It's your big goofy ass. You need a stick. Cool. Dude. Oh, W Red Wings? Oh, no. The Red Wings got mad? Oh, God. Let's see this. Dang. Dang. The fact that these sticks break so easily is crazy. Like, I, I remember, I don't think, I, have I ever touched a, I don't think I've ever seen, like, an actual NHL stick. But I know it's be, like, obviously long. I thought that was, like, durable, though. How are they just breaking it? They just use, like, let's say, like, super strong. I don't know. But they just literally just breaking it. Like, look at that dude. <laughs> he ride it up from the back of his back. <laughs> oh, my God. That is hilarious, yo. All right, copyright. TV show. For months, Roberto Luongo has handled questions about his situation with humor and class. On Wednesday, that did not change, but he did add raw emotion to the mix when addressing the fact he remains a Canuck. Hit on your pride that, uh, you know, that uh, teams are not willing to, uh, you know, give up much. And obviously, it doesn't necessarily mean it's a knock on me, but more... You know, my situation uh, with my contract. Despite the term and big money left on his deal, Luongo obviously felt there would be takers. There wasn't. Now he must wait until the summer to find out what the future holds. Here's Malkin, fights his way loose in front. Two minutes deep. Great save by Vasilevsky. Another shot, they score. Chris Kunitz. Oh, Vasilevsky is a good goalie. Bro, did he just step on it? He stepped on it? I've never seen somebody do that. But this is a 1901. Uh, Yo! Wait, dang! Oh, bro, did somebody. Did he hit him with the stick or something? Yo, chill, bro. It's never that serious. Oh, my God. Oh, we got some fighting. <laughs> okay. 
It's a W compilation. You got the goalie fighting, bro. If the goalies, if the goalies is fighting players, because you know goalies usually fight the goalies. So the goalies fighting players, there's some tension going on. He threw the stick at the glass. What a guy. He said he almost hit this. The, ooh, that was nice. Oh, yeah. The goalie bad. <laughs> they get blue the fuck up. They get blue the fuck up. Four zip, third quarter. Y'all might as well say goodbye. Pass the sticks. <laughs> oh, I think I seen this. Do we see this? Uh, he about to fight the refs. Chill. He about to fight the refs, bro. Bro, it, it takes two swings for it to break like that? It looks like he uses some as strength, though. Dang. Chill, bro. Please. Y'all already lost. It was, what, five to three? Y'all was already losing 16 seconds left. <laughs> Stop playing, bro. Why they so bad, yo? <laughs> How y'all already get blue out five zip? <laughs> oh my god, bro! Look at his teammates. <laughs> yo, the goalie is mad. Bruh, these gullies are really menaces. I ain't gonna lie. These gullies are mad. What was the score of this game? This is how I feel about if this, if this a lot if this if they getting blue already, bro. You shouldn't be mad, bro, because y'all already lost. You know what I'm saying? Accept defeat. It's okay to accept defeat, bro. If you're getting blue out 10-0, you know what I'm saying? It's okay. You have a you're mad, obviously, because you care. But bro, you out here fighting other players and shit. Like, come on, bro. Now you just doing the most. Like, my nigga, y'all already lost, bro. Like, now if it was a close game and it's like that, and you just, you know what I'm saying? Because it's a close game, so you really had your heart into it. But no, bro, y'all already is 10 0. Like, y'all not coming back in this game, bro. Just get ready for the next game. It's not the end of the world. Goes over to wow. President Ronald Corey and tells him that's it. The Red Wings go on to win 11-1. Ooh, Red Wings blew him out 11-1. Let's go. The Canadians traded Waugh and Captain Mike. Waugh. Why did you say it like that? Waugh. <laughs> what is this dude doing? Big goofy ass. Big think he's sweet. If somebody would start a puck from your dumb ass and score it, let me your fault. Look at their jerseys back then, bro. This is definitely in the 2000s, early 2000s. He did a spin on Rama. <laughs> he thought he was sweet. He thought he was sweet. Like right, this right here, three. Oh. Wait. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm confused. Wait. Oh, he helped his teammate. That's what happened. Okay, okay, okay. I thought it was two. I thought it was two blue jerseys fighting or something like that. I thought, but I didn't see it though. Okay, so the other goalie coming. Ooh, the other goalie coming. It's the line brawl, right? Line brawl. I think a line brawl is when everybody get on the, on the rink. Ooh, that was nice.
couple seconds later, we had another goal by Ryan Getzlaff. I need to ask you, Mayday, when you're 19 years in the NHL, have you ever seen a goalie come to the bench and have that type of reaction? You know what? I've seen guys snap. I've snapped, no question about it. But I got to tell you, I have not seen that in 19 years. The guys I played with, but I got to, after watching the Edmonton Oilers, how they responded to it, they almost seemed to actually side with Victor Foss. Bro, mad as hell. Hey, man. Y'all like, comment, subscribe. Comment, share, react to next, man. Follow me on Instagram for my most active bet. We on the grind to 10K. I'm out.